lesson one of friendly chemistry you'll introduce the names of the elements and their symbols. An activity you can do with your students to allow them time to practice the many names and uh, symbols of the elements is to play element bingo. On page six in the student textbook and then on page seven are two blank bingo cards. In the game of Element Bingo, your students will create their own bingo cards. We've made a copy of one of the bingo cards here to show you how your students can set up their cards. Notice that there are six columns of squares with uh, six rows across. In each square, your student will write the symbol of, of an element and because there's 36 uh, you may have your stu students use between elements 1 and 36 or you may go up to like 45 it's up to you uh, how many you use so uh, your students then uh, as the example here for helium is can just randomly write uh, the element symbols in the squares so we may put a, uh, a B for boron, and then we'll have C for carbon, and H for hydrogen. And you can have them uh, use the periodic table in the book uh, as they fill out their card. Uh, we may have something like K for potassium, uh, N for nitrogen, and then we will just continue on here something like V for vanadium uh, O symbol for oxygen lithium uh, aluminum uh, how about sodium is Na uh, chlorine Cl and as they write the symbols down you may want to remind them uh, that the first letter in the symbol is always uppercase or capital letter and if there's a second letter it's always lowercase uh, a little letter uh, so your students then will go continue and uh, fill their card and once all have done that uh, you can begin play uh, as the instructor uh, what you'll do is using a periodic table or you can use uh, the list of elements uh, there in your book is just to be ca begin calling out the names of the elements. Uh, students who then have the symbol on their card uh, can just use a marker or a counter or any sort of a, a little uh, playing piece uh, to mark to mark the square. You can use uh, pieces of paper or little chips or anything like that that you may have handy uh, to mark the square. So for example, if you were to call out uh, boron, uh, this student will look across this card and say, ah, I've got a B. That's a symbol for boron. And let's say the next one you call out would be aluminum. So I'll put a uh, mark the AL for aluminum. And then play continues and the students will continue to, to uh, mark the various elements they have and then uh, once a student has six in a row either across or down or then diagonally uh, six in a row uh, they uh, got have a bingo and you can tell them to yell out bingo uh, but then uh, before they actually are awarded the bingo uh, one more step is to have your students identify both the symbol and name of the element that allowed them to make the bingo. So then they would slide up and say, okay, I got HE was helium, and it's important that they give you the symbol and the name, uh, B, boron, and then we'd have C for the carbon, and then H for hydrogen, and this was K for potassium, and then N was for nitrogen. And uh, if you'd like, you can play points, with your students if they get a bingo they earn a point you can play team bingo where you have um, a group of students in a team uh, each has their own bingo cards but as they uh, earn bingos they earn points for their team 
Uh, you can have prizes if you like, uh, you know, food treats or something like that as they uh, play the bingo. Now, if you recall back in the text, there are uh, two blank bingo cards, and if you like, they can play both cards at the same time. Uh, another variation is, and you can still use these same cards, is instead of writing the element symbols on the card, is have students write element names. And then, uh, as, as the leader then of the group, what you would do is uh, call out an element symbol, and then they would have to find that name, name on the card. Uh, you can play straight bingo where you get six in a row, six down, six diagonally, or if you like, you can kind of make it more fun and you can play picture frame where uh, you have to get all the, the squares around the outside. Uh, you can play different letters, uh, shaped letters on the card. Uh, the object of the game obviously is just to have fun, practice the element, names and symbols.